Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. If you're an aspiring software engineer looking to kickstart your career, you are in the right place. Today, we're going to break down IBM's 2025 recruitment drive and give you the complete blueprint to land their next-gen software engineer role. I'm guessing that's a big yes. So stick around. We're about to walk through absolutely everything you need to know to turn this massive opportunity into your next big career move. Let's jump in. All right, first things first, let's get a really clear picture of the opportunity itself. What exactly is IBM putting on the table for its 2025 hires? There you have it, plain and simple. This is an off-campus drive, and it's aimed squarely at entry-level talent. So if you're a recent graduate or you're just starting out, listen up, because this is designed specifically for you. And this is where it gets really interesting. Look at the scope of this role. We're not talking about just a junior coding job. You're going to be involved in the entire software lifecycle, from the drawing board to deployment. You could be working on anything from core system software to cutting edge AI. And check out the variety, international teams, open and closed source projects. This is a fantastic launchpad for a serious career in tech. Okay, section two. Let's get into the practical details that, let's be honest, everyone wants to know. Where you'll be, how you'll work, and of course, what's the pay like? So the main hub for this role is going to be Hyderabad, but IBM also has openings in two other huge tech cities, Bangalore and Pune. So you've got some really great options to choose from. And what about the work style? Well, it's a hybrid role. You get that perfect blend of in-office collaboration and work-from-home flexibility that's become so important to all of us. Now for the big one, the salary. IBM is offering a really competitive range of 6 to 10 lakhs per annum. Now keep in mind, where you land in that range is really going to depend on your specific skills and, you know, how you crush it during those interviews. Okay, you know the what, the where, and the how much. Now for maybe the most important question. Do you have what it takes? Let's break down the profile of who IBM is looking for. The basics are pretty straightforward. A degree in computer science, IT, or a related field is what they're looking for. But, and this is a key detail, they've said that graduates from any discipline with the right skills will be considered. And it's specifically for freshers, so people with zero to one year of experience. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of the tech stack, starting with the programming languages that'll get you noticed. Okay, here's the list, but don't get intimidated. The key thing here is that you just need to be familiar with some of these. You do not need to be a master of all of them. So if you're strong in, say, Python or Java, you're already in a great position. Of course, beyond languages, your toolkit is just as important. Let's look at the modern frameworks and platforms you should probably know your way around. This list really shows that IBM is looking for engineers who get modern development and operations. Knowing your way around containerization with Docker and Kubernetes, version control with GitHub, and even AI libraries like TensorFlow, that's what's going to make your application really pop. I think this slide is one of the most useful ones we've got. It separates the must-haves from the nice-to-haves. So on the left, you've got the foundational stuff that's absolutely required. Things like operating systems and data structures. Then, on the right, you see those bonus skills like deep storage or networking knowledge that can really give you an edge over everybody else. So, you've got the skills. But how do you navigate the whole hiring process to actually land that offer? Let's walk through the exact path to getting hired at IBM. Now, before we get to the official steps, here is a golden piece of advice, and this is so, so important. Your resume isn't everything. Showing your passion through personal projects or contributing to open source can make a huge difference. It's proof that you live and breathe this stuff. And the path to getting an offer is super clear. It's a four-step process. You start with the online application. Then there's an online assessment to test your aptitude and coding. If you pass that, you move on to a technical interview, and finally, the HR interview to make sure it's a great fit for everyone. Simple as that. All right, we have covered the opportunity, the requirements, and the process. There's only one thing left to do. Let's talk about how to take action right now. And here's the most critical detail when it comes to timing. The deadline is as soon as possible. You know, in the world of competitive hiring, applying early makes a massive difference to your chances. So seriously, don't wait on this. To make it super easy for you, we have put the direct official application link right in the comments section below. Just scroll down, click that link, and you can start your application literally right now. So there you have it, the complete blueprint. The only question left to answer is the one right here on your screen.
If this opportunity gets you excited, well, now you have all the information you need to take that next step. Good luck.